former NFL cheerleaders Bailey Davis and Kristen Ann Ware are still seeking justice. I sat down with their attorney, Sarah Blackwell, to find out what's next. The National Football League will hear proposals to improve work conditions for its cheerleaders from two women who have accused the league of gender and religious discrimination. If you put it in context of like Home Depot, all the men have no rules, but if they try to call you as a female Home Depot employee, you're fired. I mean, nobody would accept that. It would be completely not okay. The NFL has rejected an offer from Ware and Davis, who resides in Sarasota, to settle the claim for $1 each in exchange for a four-hour meeting with League Commissioner Roger Goodell. I was happy about the denial because we didn't have to sign our rights away. I mean, that was very um, trusting, and they could have just said, sure, we'll sign away. Now you can't sue us. We'll sit with you for four hours and do nothing. Blackwell says though the NFL denied the settlement, they did say they would hear her and her clients' information and recommendations. If they are just playing us or, or you know, not giving us a serious uh, opportunity, then we still have the rights to bring lawsuits against them. And what's next for Bailey and what's next for Kristen? Hope that Kristen Ann really, I, I mean, if you've ever met her, she's just like a genuine, incredibly anointed by God person. And I hope this gets her somewhere in front of crowds where people can listen to her. And then Bailey, you know, she wants to be a performer. She wants to be an entertainer. And, you know, eventually I hope that this moves on for her to be a performer and entertainer. But, you know, really, we, you know, our goal for this whole thing is change. Reporting in Sarasota, Jessica Ward, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And as always, you can stick with SNN for updates to this developing story.